in today's episode, I want the new dunkers, people who are just getting their first dunk or haven't dunked yet, to notice just how different I look from full speed to today's episode. Yes, I'm still able to cock it back a little bit, but you can see I'm, I'm getting rim stuff. I'm back rimming on dunks that used to be so easy for me, and I'm going back to a level so you can see what I do to adjust and the differences between my jumps. Sometimes I go more straight up. Sometimes I take off from a little distance, but because I'm hesitant off my latest injury in my hamstring, I'm jumping forwards because I don't really trust putting so much force into that hamstring and the jumps where I'm too close to the rim, different things like that. And I want you guys to notice the same for you. And I kind of put it together by the end of the video. I'm, I'm connecting. I'm relearning how to dunk because it's been so long. I'm rusty. I have to relearn how to jump. And there's just so many valuable insights. Leave a comment with any questions on your training because that'll help me make videos best for you. And I'll answer them. I answer every single comment. I, every, I look at every single thing. Yeah, go ahead. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button. I'll be back every single week making the best videos I possibly can. Am I wearing these glasses because I like them? No, it's for the blue light. I gotta keep my eyes sharp because I want to make the color grading and all the different cinematic effects best I can do. I gotta keep the eyes sharp. But there is a balance between function and looking good. So I got the clear ones because I thought it would look good for photography and like with the lights and like photos like this. But whatever, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do to stay healthy, right? All right, enjoy. I work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whatever I lack, add it to my bag. And I got plenty more where that came from. But my price is right, I never change, bro. I don't get it done, get it done, right? And that's every day, that's dunk life. Today, just kind of out here, seeing how I feel. Second dunk session back from rehab. My body is so rusty. I have no handles, no hand work, footwork, anything. I feel crazy rusty. So just feeling it out. And that's how my mindset is, is no expectations. One person said, this is really common. I've had it for years and I flip my mindset and it's a huge mistake. So what I used to do is expect a lot and put a lot of pressure on myself. Today's the day I'm gonna jump my best. I'm sure you guys have felt that. And then you jump terrible. And then other days when you're not expecting, you're just having fun you might fly. So I'm trying to use that to my advantage and think to myself, no expectations, do what's best for my body. And ultimately I usually have a good day. I used to have a good day every once in a while. Now I have a majority of good days. So try that. Definitely pushing it more than last week, feeling great about that. Gonna cut it short just because I know when my adrenaline's pumping, I wanna push it harder, but it's one step at a time, so I'm happy I gotta almost punch one just now. Maybe I can punch one. I gotta keep it crazy gradual, so one little tiny step of progress every session, that's it. So I got three rookie mistakes, it's been a while. I put my phone to, first of all, forgot the tripod. Using my phone to record, put it on the little stand, hit the end record so I missed my best two jumps so far. <laughs> and the only good one I've recorded so far, I've recorded in regular instead of slow-mo. Why I oughta?
It'd be really nice to end it on a yam. Let's go. A lot of work to do. Couldn't be happier with today. I'm dunking, baby. Can't wait to, uh, what do I want to do? Got a lot to work on, hesitation-wise. Mentally, I'm hesitating off the leg, but I'm being smart about it, so I can keep building on it one day at a time. 